Jerusalem is hosting the 64th Congress for the National Association of the Diocesan Directors of French Pilgrimages. Founded in 1938, the association has always considered the pilgrimage as a pastoral and cultural experience, responding to the needs of our time. And it was again discussed in this annual appointment in the auditorium of the Notre Dame Center in Jerusalem during the first meeting that launched four days full of initiatives. The welcome message of Patriarch Tual, read by Monsignor Shamali, underlined again the great value of a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Being pilgrims is a vocation, the Patriarch wrote, while organizing pilgrimages is a mission. France comes in the fourth place regarding the number of pilgrims in the Holy Land, and it is not by chance that Jerusalem was chosen to host the association in its traditional annual event. We are all directors of pilgrimage, and it's very important for us. We come as pilgrims, usually, and we need to understand better that land, uh, all the, the questions which are linked to the, to the land. Uh, actually, we come to, to learn from the church in Jerusalem, to try to be more just when we come, to lead pilgrims as pilgrims of peace, very conscious about the problems, but real, uh, real um, deep uh, pilgrims of peace. That's what we, we, we want to be. And so there was also space for dialogue to the 168 delegates who came from France. Participants discussed with the representatives of the Mother Church of Jerusalem on different issues to deepen their knowledge of the land where the word became flesh, to discuss the geography and the history of salvation, to help the living stones, that is the Christians, to better organize the pilgrimages and to prepare all pilgrims to become more aware of their experience. I think this is our message the message that comes from our hope. Because sometimes we are tempted to lose the hope for peace. I think that we can really be peacemakers. Each person can build up this land, living in peace and looking to a serene and harmonious future. Perhaps the most significant meeting took place on Wednesday, November 15, when the representatives of the association made their solemn entrance to the Holy Sepulchre, welcomed by Father Pizzaballa. Accompanied by chants sung by the Franciscan friars, all participants then received the blessing of the Custos of the Holy Land, precisely in the place that is the heart of every pilgrimage and the hope of every Christian.